Boeing introduced its 787 Dreamliner to give airlines new levels of operational efficiency and flexibility in terms of options for balancing payload against range, just as Airbus has attempted to do with their A350 XWB. Much of the new thinking is found in the cabins of the new generation wide body, which can vary significantly according to the priorities of different carriers. We had the chance to see inside one of the 10 787s operated by Asia Pacific low cost carrier, Scoot. Well, you know, the one thing I think has really been unique about the 787 is the number of air, different airlines and the number of business models that use the aircraft. The airplane's been flying short range, it's been flying medium range, it's been flying long range, it's been working with a number of business models, and I think that it's proven itself in terms of its economics and its fuel efficiency, and it's proven itself for our customers in terms of the flexibility in the way that they can configure the cabin. You know, I flew actually on a 787 from Seattle through Narita to here. I think that airplane carried around about 160, 170 passengers. This one, in its configuration, carries about 375 passengers. So one was a Dash 8, one was a Dash 9, but it does illustrate the differences in the flexibility. Two different airlines, two different business models, and two different appearances and configurations they wanted to really go to market with, and the 787 has been able to do both successfully. When designing the 787, Boeing aimed to provide a new flight experience for the passenger, but this also extends to the crew. I had this great experience. I flew the 787 for the first time commercially. And at the end of the flight, I went back to one of the flight attendants and I asked them, you know, what were their challenges? And they gave me some challenges. Of course, there's always going to be issues. But I said, what do you like? And they said, without hesitation, I like the air. Because, you know, with this airplane, not only do we have filters that take out viruses, but we have a secondary set of filters that take out odor. We have lower cabin altitude, which means there's more oxygen in the cabin. And we also have a little bit more moisture. So a little more humidity, cleaner air, more oxygen provides great air for both the passengers and the flight attendants. Another immediately noticeable feature is the window design. You see a window, uh, then it was designed about 70% larger than the window of our competition. And not only is it larger, it's positioned in a little different spot. So no matter where you sit on a 787, whether you be in the center seat or in a window seat, you can still look out and enjoy the horizon. You also notice on these windows, there's no window shade. They're electronically dimmable. So even when it's dark, and this cabin is dark and everything's dark and down, you can still look out. It's like looking through a polarized lens and connecting with that flight experience. There are three members of the 787 family, the Dash 8, 9, and 10. Boeing now has 1,143 firm orders for the twin jet from 62 different customers. By the end of this year, airlines will have opened up 90 new markets with the Dreamliner. Markets that because of the size, range, and economics of airplanes weren't viable in the past are viable today.